Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. This is the medicine wheel. Let me turn it around and say hello. There we are. Welcome everyone. Sunday night, I'm up at the medicine wheel doing something I've kind of never ever done and that's like camping out by myself. So I'm very excited for this and this is kind of what the energy is coming forward as we move into this week. So welcome everyone, come in and join me, Terri Ann Hyman here. This is my energy focus for the week, which we talk about what's going on, talk about the podcast and all the many cosmic energies around us. So first and foremost, the podcast, I had a great guest, Javasia C. Jane Wright. It was a beautiful story about her experience. She's a writer, she's a blogger, but her experience through chemo and how she used those chemo time that chemo time for cre chemo creativity really great talking about writing and how healing it can be for all of us so that was the podcast thank you to our sponsors forecast salon beautiful beautiful place down in homewood hair salon dedicated to creativity inspiration and just really the latest and what's going on for all their clients so big shout out to forecast as well all right you guys tonight this energy right now hey kika tonight we are in the dark of the moon so tonight's energy is going to be very different than tomorrow and the rest of the week. Tonight is that last part of the darkness of the cycle. It's the darkness part of the month. So maybe you felt it. Maybe you felt a little bit down in your energy, unsure of what's going on. But we're about to close the energy of the eclipse. All right, with that new moon tomorrow, it closes that portal of energy. And there's so much that has been going on. It really is. Now, the good news is that this new moon is going to feel lighter. It's going to feel easier. It's got that Gemini air energy, new fun, new adventure coming up for all of us. But the energy for tonight and really the thing to really kind of focus on before you even go to bed, because that new moon comes in pretty early, especially depending on where you are. But really, it's like cutting the cords, commanding the energy, writing it down, burning it up, whatever you need to do to let go of all that old stuff. All right, that eclipse a couple of weeks ago, right? We had it. I was up here then. It really helped you to see a lot of what was going on, relationships, your path, what you're holding on to that doesn't serve. And so now what we want to do is we want to really use that cosmic force of energy. So let it go right how do you do that like we said like write it down burn it up cut it away notice those things in your own life that just aren't serving you and then as we open up to that new moon in the morning it's going to be a time to feel lighter to feel more engaged with your creativity to feel more engaged with new beginnings new ideas new possibilities so notice where that is for you even notice the little things like i noticed um i noticed for myself t uh, yesterday Saturday in the mail instead of just getting my registration for my car. I got a whole new tag All right transportation new adventures, right? Even those little things they're signs and they're symbols from spirit for sure I couldn't even find my tarot cards. I thought I lost them somewhere I opened a brand new pack for this reading tonight. How much fun is that? So where can you find those little things that lead you to the newness in your own life? Do something different do something new and really enjoy This adventure that we're all on so Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is still direct, but it does go direct on June 3rd. So this next week, we're going to start to feel some of that energy pick up. In fact, you're probably going to see it's going to whiz right into summer. I know this weekend it's the unofficial start to summer, but you're going to feel it. You're going to feel all this energy just fly by. That's some of that Mercury energy that will be going direct. So as you move through tonight and into tomorrow, into that new moon, it really is a great opportunity to make some new intentions, all right? Really just think like, okay, what are those seeds that you planted? What are the things that you may not even have ever thought about that are now coming into your consciousness? I know today I was up here walking around and journaling and I was in the middle of ascending, meditating, and I had this like, for me, profound thought of like, okay, this is my intention and I wrote it down. And like, that's a brand new, not totally brand new, but it was so powerful. Where does that show up for you? Where are you showing up for you, really, right? Like, where can you stand in the truth of who you are? All right, divine timing is really important, and I say that for someone in particular, and I honor her her word and her divine timing, and like, this is what happens. And yes, where does that come in for you? All right, we may like have like, oh, wait, I already knew that, or I saw that, but when it comes in really strong, the timing is just right, that's what we really wanna go for, especially with new inspirations. So this is the last new moon of spring. 
Spring is our planting of seeds, and then we're going to move right into summer, which is like allowing it to grow. So again, the weeding, what doesn't work, let all of that go. Cut the cords, command the energy so that you can open up. It's a little bit of lightness. We're all going to feel better with this new moon coming in. We really are. Notice for yourself, right? So that you can, like, really kind of figure out in summer, what do I want to grow? Summer's the season to sit back, to have fun, to be outside, to find joy, and let things grow. What is it you want to grow? And that's really the questions to be asking. And that is really, I think, the intentions to be setting as you move into that new moon tomorrow. All right, so tonight, like I said, different feel for it. You may feel some of the heaviness. Do a little ceremony. Let the energy go. Tomorrow as we wake up, that new moon in Gemini comes in. It's going to feel so much lighter. Middle of the week, we're going to move into some of the moon in Cancer. So that's the emotions. So allow your emotions to be felt. All right, now maybe you'll think like, You'll think an old thought or something, let's just say. Oh, and you could say to yourself, wait, that's an old thought. Honor it. Gratitude. Thank you for the old thought, but I would rather be in this place. Like nothing ever happens. Wait, thank you. No, things are happening. So we want to switch the energy around, all right? That's going to be what the cancer energy can help you to do. Cancer's water, emotions, right? And then towards the end of the week, we move into Leo, and you're going to be ready to come back out and play some more as we get closer and closer to summer. All right, that's our message for the week. So let's just take that in. Take a nice deep inhale. And we're going to just do a little meditation that's going to help you to let go, to ground your energy, and prepare for that amazing new moon coming in. All right? So if you can, light some sage. Shape a movement forecast. Thank goodness for forecast as matches. I don't have much lighter. I don't have much of a lighter. All right. There we go. Lighting the sage. This is what you need to do for transformation. Fire is transformation. See the smoke, see the color, see the light, smell the sage, and set those intentions for you. Ellen, did you get your cards? Taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Closing your eyes for a moment if you can. <clears throat> Inhaling. Bring in the breath all the way up the body. And exhale, sending it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling, call in your spirit. Feel the energy coming in for you. Take another deep inhale. And exhale, dropping into the heart. Right into the very center. Feel that connection with the greater source, spirit, creator, however you choose to look at that. Know that you are known. Know that you are loved. Feel that connection. As we go to create this space for this work tonight, call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, the crystal beings, calling in your own spirit guides. Ask that they work with you and through you to guide you and protect you as you move through this week. A beautiful offering that we do that I've learned from the medicine wheel is to honor the directions Right now, we're at the energy of spring. I teach in the direction of the east where the sun rises each and every day. Imagine yourself standing in the east with the sun on your face, setting those new intentions for you. Tonight, let the intentions be about letting go of what no longer serves so that you can make room for new energy. Calling in all the directions to the east, the south, the west, and the north, above us, below us, right into the very center. From your heart, set that intention and allow those elevated emotions to radiate out, setting that energy all around you. Just taking another moment, feeling your energy, feeling that radiant light around you from your heart. Feel the energy that you no longer want. Just exhale it away. Energy follows intention and then cut the cord, let it go. Taking another deep inhale <clears throat> and exhale. Bringing the awareness back, coming back, blinking the eyes open. <sighs> Ellen, your card should have been there Friday, double check into the tracking. All right. So the first card for tonight is the Empress. So I find this an interesting card because this is all about 
like learned experiences, like having the ability to sit in your chair. You'll notice that the emperor here, he's like the father of the tarot, very protective, but he's earned his right to sit there. So what this lot, uh, guides me to tell you is like, what experiences in your life can guide you to the new energy, right? We all have experiences that we can draw upon. You know, as I was saying that, I have never done this before in terms of camping out by myself. The truth is I have when I was very little at camp. We had a little survival day. Yes, it was the campers around, but we each had our own campsite. Draw from your experience. All right, just one silly example, but where in your own life can you draw from old experiences as you start and step into a new path for you? All right, this is a great card to help us through that new moon energy, especially if you've noticed lots of energy coming in from the eclipse like I have, all right? The next card is really perfect for tonight. Nine of air. Air is our mental capacity, all right? So this is like, oh, no, oh, no. This is the drama. This is like those repeated thoughts that we tell ourselves all the time, keeping you up at night. You can't even find the guidance because your mind is so busy. So this is the card that reminds you, like, okay, look, find some meditation techniques. Find some tapping techniques, something that's going to clear your mind, all right? It's getting in the way of your own path. Let that stuff go. This is like cut the cords. This is perfect for letting all that excess energy go as we move through tonight and into tomorrow. Three of water comes up next. All right. So this is kind of good for the middle of the week, the water, the emotions. All right. Just kind of funny how it's playing itself out. This is about celebrating. This is like honoring and celebrating and not just with anybody, with people that care about you, that you care about and really kind of taking some time to have gratitude for what you've accomplished all right threes are kind of like we come back and we have like this like looking at and stepping back and seeing what we've done energy so celebrate midweek all right then we have the nine uh seven of fire seven of fire all right so this is kind of an interesting this is fire passion your soul purpose so maybe you'll feel as you step through this portal of energy, close that door and open up to the moon. Maybe you, uh, maybe you may feel like you're on your own. Like you feel a little bit of like maybe, I, I don't, competition is a little bit strong word, but maybe you feel energy projecting out of you. Like who are you to step up into a new path? Who are you to change your job? Who are you to find a new possibility, right? But this is about holding strong. And lots of times this comes from others being jealous of what you've done. All right, so don't let their energy impasse. Don't let their energy pull you in and make you feel like that imposter syndrome. Like, can I really do this? Am I really deserving? All right, so this is really hold your fire. Sevens are a spiritual number. Connect with the greater spirit. Look at that little portal there. Connect with the greater spirit. Co-create your life. All right, that was part of what I was writing today. So beautiful cards as we come in to this week. The emperor is all about learning your lessons and how you're doing and what you're doing. Sitting in your chair with authority. Let go of that imposter syndrome. The first card for the beginning of the week and tonight, really, nine of air is really cut the crap. Get some ways to help you deal with your mind. Clear it out. Middle of the week, celebrate, celebrate. Honor yourself for what you've accomplished this spring. Really important that we do that. Seven of fire, stand strong in your passion. It's okay if people don't get you. Just stand strong in what you've done because you've earned it. Beautiful cycle there. Now, I have to say, when I looked at the cards, I felt like a lot of them were for tonight's energy, although I see they do kind of play out. But I did draw a fourth card for tomorrow, which is the ace of air. So it's a perfect drawing for tomorrow's energy in Gemini. New mindset. So as you cut this out, this will come forward for you. Beautiful, beautiful cards. All right, let's see. All right, first off, Mark and I. Mark, you go first. Mark, you always get the, the people cards, daughter of earth. So this is an energy about like being creative in what you're doing. Don't be afraid to color outside the rainbow. Or actually, don't be afraid to change the order of the rainbow, right? Be creative in how you are. Earth is grounding. It's kind of a little bit of an innocent energy. So as you're moving through your work and what you're doing, find other ways to be creative to keep you inspired, all right? Marissa, Marissa, we got the justice card. Marissa, how funny is this? Because this is about karma. So you know what you're doing. And I honor that so much in you. This is finding the balance for you and knowing that things are shifting and changing. All right, double check all your contracts being under the end of the Mercury retrograde. But you know what you're doing. You've got the right choice. And I honor you for your word. I really do. All right, excellent. All right, Kika, Kika, what is going on out in San Diego? Kika, we got the son of fire. 
So this is somebody like has the ability to just kind of have that instant inspiration, like go for it from what your soul is telling you to do. All right. Like sometimes if this was like the daughter, we'd be like playing around and everybody would love us. But this is like stepping forward, doing it, having a little bit more of that yang energy to come forward on your path. This is passion and desire. All right. Excellent. Who else? Anybody else here? Let's see if I missed anybody. Hey, Carla, how about you? How about a card? Ellen, I'm going to draw a card for you. Six of fire. So this is about harmony. All right. This is about really beautiful transformation, things lining up. Okay. Fires are passion and desire. Six is harmony. Like we've been through a lot. We've been through changes. You're going to see with that new moon coming in too, you're going to feel some of that harmony. Check in with your spirit, transformation. Look at the butterfly. Look at all that energy coming up for you. Beautiful, beautiful. Carla. Carla, we got the daughter of fire. All right. So this is where we're just kind of talking about that with the, no, that was the son of fire. Yeah, that was the daughter of fire. So this is like somebody that has activism in her, like stand up for what you want. Find creative ways to open up to it. Really shine your light. All right. So some of that energy coming forward from your own path, like I always think of daughters as innocence, like the innocence. And where in your own generational energy does the daughter energy showed up for you? All right. Great card to go forward. Have that inspiration. Be an activist, an activist, an activist for what you believe in. All right, you guys. I don't have much power, so I'm going to kind of cut this short. But lots of new energy coming in. The Gemini new moon is going to feel easier, lighter. Connect with your spirit, co-create your life, set new intentions. We're moving out of the spring and into the summer very soon. Know what you're intending. So summer comes around, you can grow, grow, grow. Locally, come check out my yoga classes, all right? At the Yoga Circle, Tuesday mornings, 815, energy yoga, awaken yoga, really fun. Friday nights, gotten some great reviews, five o'clock, restorative sound bowls, Reiki, the whole bit. I'll be teaching over at the JCC on Fridays at 1030. All right, check it out. I do have some Reiki things coming up if you're local. And my Energy Mastery app. All right, you guys, I'm going to be doing another. We had such a great time. It's ongoing. Radiant Light Challenge. It begins on the summer solstice. 21 days to radiate your light. And I have a little special bonus coming up for the summer round. All right, and if you've already in the group, you can do it again. No cost, but the first time cost to enter into the program is 133 Check it out. Hit me up. And then there's stuff we do all month long. All right, everybody, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale all the way down deep into the earth. Feel yourself connecting with Mother Earth. Return to those intentions for you. Send them out from the heart. Focus your light. Have a great week. And those of you in the Energy Mastery, I'll see you in the morning for the new moon ceremony. One more deep inhale and exhale, grounding your energy, centering, focusing for your week. Thanks for joining me. Check out the podcast to your spirit. Namaste.